scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. Now, this is one of those exciting podcasts that I know I've recorded, but I seem to have forgot to press record. No, I did. And that was a pause for me to just check that this was actually recording. Because the last thing I want to do is have to do this again. Now, as I said the last time, that Doctor Who Series 11 for Tom Baker... This is for Big Finish. Don't get excited that they found new old TV ones. It was released in March. It's written by David Llewellyn and it is marvellous. Now obviously the solo range is available individually as well as in a box set. So I'm doing these as two separate podcasts because you might want to buy them separately. Now if you like your lung barrel, if you like your deadly assassin, if you like your master a certain way, go for the other one. If you want a rip-snorting adventure, is that even a phrase? Well, either way it is, then this is the one you want. It's got Neris Hughes in it. And Trevor Cooper. Neris is, you know, basically on the big list of people who are just brilliant. Yes, you've got a history going on in Torchwood, but she is basically British sitcom royalty. She produces some glorious work, which you can look up on Google. That's not a problem. What I need to review this time is The Ravencliff Witch, David Llewellyn. Here's the synopsis. The TARDIS lands in Ravencliff, a small town on the English coast that stands in the shade of a newly built power station. And that just happens to be haunted. Every now and then a spectral figure is glimpsed on the beach, the Ravencliff Witch. And every time she appears, it's a prelude to disaster. The Doctor has to solve the mystery of her appearances if he wants to prevent a catastrophe, but he won't have to do it alone. He has the help of Margaret Hopwood, a renowned sculptor destined to play a big part in his life. It's just great. If you like your lighthouses, your haunted things, your suddenly scientific explanations for things, this is for you. Obviously the performances are going to be great. You get Trevor Cooper on board, you're going to get something special. You get Neris Hughes in, oh, and it's just marvellous. Tom's always good. I mean, let's face it, he's yet to produce a bad big finish. And it's just nice to have him in your ears. Mad old Uncle Tom. Marvellous. Great. But that's enough, really. I mean, do you really want me to just to sit here and enthuse? I mean, I could talk about the ghosts, the atmosphere, the way that the soundscape works, that it just feels to be of its time. Yes, there's... You know, with it being taking place in a nuclear power station, sorry, atomic research facility, it does have a Hand of Fear vibe. And, yeah, but you know what? If you've got enough references and enough nods to other stories and other locations, it just makes you see them better in your own mind's eye. And if you've got enough of them brought together, as always, you've ended up with a whole new story. So, yes, there's nods to stuff you've heard and seen on TV, but that just makes it feel more real. And this is great. So like I said, ideally you'd own them both, but if you just need to buy one and you like Lung Barrow and that kind of thing, you just buy the other one, buy Blood of Time Lords. But if you want something that's just an adventure that feels completely of its time, then go with this one. Here's the trailer, and as always, decide for yourself. So until next time, be seeing you. For all the grand titles, these are dark days. Another resident has been taken from us. Who would want to dispose of Time Lords who are already so close to death? From Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, The Fourth Doctor Adventures, Solo. No, 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 you can't do that. Don't stop it. Hello? Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I'm the... You can't park here. I'm so awfully sorry. I will... Well, you'll have to move it. Look! The flickering glow! 
Move with them! I'm behind us too, I'm very sorry, old Haku, but the fire appears to be growing all around us. My apologies, Provost. No matter. No. I've heard word. Words reached me. A time capsule in the library. Doctor, this is important. I'm afraid it's unlikely to be dignified. I consider the implications, young man. Infinite library. An infinite fire. Doctor! Ancelon! How good to see you! Uh, I am to arrest you and have you escorted down to Gallifrey. <laughs> <laughs> Two residents down there, you say? Honourable Lorick, he's a crotchety old soul, and eminent Sedania. Sedania? Later the Prydonian Academy? <laughs> That's her. You won't want to get in her bad books. No talking at the back, please. Yes, miss. Sorry, miss. May I ask a question, miss? You may not. Oh, well, I'm not afraid to say I often did. The doctor is on the stand. I know I have a habit of barging in just as everyone's vanishing or keeling over or a president's getting shot or whatnot. But trust me in this, I am innocent. Dark times. Dark times. Well, I think this is excellent news. Okay, well, I'm hearing some, some weird noises down here. I uh, don't know if they're being picked up on the tape. And there's a light down the far end of the tunnel. Hello? Anyone down there? Hello? <coughs> What were we saying? Two members of personnel disappearing without a trace. Where do you think you're going, old girl? Huh? Where do you think you're going? Gordon Miles. I've heard him talking in the office. There have been sightings. Strange lights and... The witch. Have you ever seen her yourself? The stories go back a millennium, at least. They wrote of a ghostly woman who would appear out to sea and along the shoreline. Over time, she acquired her name, the Ravencliff Witch. <gasps> what a place is was that? <gasps> Bats! Oh. The kitchen silence! Oh. Quickly! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Doctor, what can we do? You want to speak with the witch? We're about to have a seance. The whole world is in danger. You must think I was born yesterday. Big finish for the love of stories. What exactly are you a scientist of, anyway? Oh, this and that. Well, that fills me with confidence. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on iTunes, YouTube... Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>